Hello YouTube friends, uh, Alicia Bach here. Um, you probably noticed I haven't been posting as often. Um, the simple reason is because I am in class till 3 o'clock every day and then after that I have been trying to get my university done. I have a month and a half left and I have a 15 page paper. Uh, I have five quizzes and an exam left. And so, um, yeah, the last month and a half it was really crunch time for this course. Um, and I, it's fine, I'll get it done, but that's that's why I've been um, not creating as much as I'd like to. But I did create a bunch of embellishments, and I'm just going to show you. I have shown some of these on um, on my page, uh, sorry, on some of the craft groups I belong to, not on my page. So I'm going to show you these quickly, just for some fun ideas. And they're inspired by Lori, F Lori Fusco, um, and... Just other people. I'm, I'm mentioning her because I know she does a lot with cheesecloth and stuff. And I, I started playing with cheesecloth. So this is the first one. And it's just a Rolodex card with cheesecloth and an image from Tsunami Rose. And it's just... Um, oh dear. There we go. Using some, some things I had on hand. This is just me playing. Um, I had a marker that exploded, so I had all this blue ink that I um, had everywhere. So I just um, put it on these tags. And they all have blue ink. Some of them just, my silly camera, a little bit more than others. So this is, I can't remember the focus again, this is going to be a great video. Um, another Tsunami Rose image, cheesecloth and some coffee dyed lace and a an metal charm. It is attached with an eyelet. This is just super plain. It is a stamp that I have, stamped on a Rolodex card, uh, blacked on paper with cloth in between just for the texture. Another one that's really simple. I am going to stamp a little date in the corner but um, I was not about to dig out my stamp so I have not done that yet. For my rubber stamps obviously um, my paper stamps I, that is exactly what I was using on that. Um, so that says peace, and this is just a charm that I've had in my stash for quite a while. Um, this is a tag from Mexico, I believe. Yeah, Mexico. And another Tsunami Rose image. And she's cool. This is an envelope I have made with um, an ex a die from AliExpress. Both of these dies are from AliExpress, and that's just a stamp that I have that I colored. This says I love you, the bulb pin. Back that. This says thinking of you with some new stamps. And then, and they're perfect size for gift cards. Um, it says uh, I love you this much. And so a gift card will be going in this, and then it will go to um, either a friend or a family member. This is a couch um, charm. This is a playing card that I embossed. So it didn't stamp perfectly, but I didn't care. I thought it looked cool anyway. Little bird charm. I was, I got some happy mail and um, I was playing with them, with it. And so this is just little fluff at the bottom, another card that I um, stamped and embossed, and this just goes inside here as a tuck spot. Uh, this is another stamp I made, I had blue ink on it, which is why it, there's blobs of blue ink, because um, I, was, I was cleaning up the ink, I wasn't deliberate, and so um, yeah, I did that, and then these are the backs. This is actually, um, oh, it's in a sequence. That's annoying. It's like 
don't I have another sequin like that but anyways um this is one I did years ago and I guess I grabbed it when I grabbed my stash I need to actually just go ahead and use this in my journal um and whatever not have it in my stash anymore but it says washi tape that I have made um this is stamped and then I just colored it with this stress inks as well as I stamped this image on um journaling card I guess and so I thought that was really cute and I thought it would make a really cute either card front or just a tag um, to attach to you know a gift or whatever I love doing gifts for Easter and Valentine's Day all the holidays I like to do things for my friends so things like that are perfect for me um, and this is the last one and I just it the stickles are still wet so I didn't um, shove it in with the pile um, so another stamp and another tsunami rose image, a uh, metal flower embellishment. They were actually stickers, and I took this um, the adhesive off the back because um, they were like foam dots, and I didn't want it raised, so I just did that. And so, um, yeah, that is. Oh, I didn't ink the back of that one. I'll have to do that before it goes in a book. But so that is what I've been working on. Um, I also want to mention, and. Um, if this is not for you, go ahead, just skip this part, you know, of the video. But I want to mention, I'm going to be making some embellishments and journals. Um, some of them I will be selling because I want to do um, something called No Hungry Children. And I know, like, that has nothing to do with any program that's called that. But um, as of right now, I find that a lot of times the people that I'm trying to help, and work with um they're coming from broken homes and so um they're hungry there's not always you know food at the home in the home and whatever you, else you want to say i'm not going to go into any details but i will be doing um raising money um and the money will go i guess to me but so that i can provide um food for some of them and whether it be that they're eating at my place or they're going out to eat or whatever it is um, I want to make sure that the people that I am friends with I'm gonna say because I mean I love the I love these people very much um, that things like food are for them easy for them to access we live in Canada and there's no need for it not to be um, but some people don't live in very good home situations and that's a reality um, the other thing I'm going to be doing is creating journals um, for those people that are suffering with, um, I shouldn't say suffering with addictions, but recovering from addictions, um, dealing with things like depression, um, things that I guess qualify into mental illness, and I don't like saying that, but I guess that's the easiest way to say it. So I will be uh, making journals to sell, to raise money, um, mostly for shipping costs, um, to ship journals to people that I think would benefit for, from them, um, you know, that are, like I said, just struggling. Um, I have been, I have spent the last, you know, four days um, getting information and looking at different things and statistics about um, mental illness. And I know this is getting long, so like I said, you know, go ahead, leave this video, this is not for you. Um, and I actually phoned somebody that I was given a number um, to call looking to help people and I was basically told unless I was an addict um, in recovery there was no way I can help people um, in that situation now that is absolutely ridiculous because we have a whole lot more addicts and we have epidemics um, than we do have recovering addicts because otherwise if we had more people in recovery than we do have addicts um, you know, it, it w we wouldn't be at epidemic levels for for addicts. Um, and I'm not saying this negatively. It has affected my family personally. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail about that. But um, I know what it's like to love an addict. And I know what it's like to feel like you're losing the fight. So, like I said, I'm going to put that out there. I feel like, you know, I I don't have the experience necessarily to do a lot of things 
but I can make sure that I can do what I can do. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. And if it's not positive, I mean, go ahead, post it on, on my YouTube channel. I don't care, um, but I'm going to do it anyways. But if you want to support me in that or you have any comments or suggestions, I would love to hear them. Thank you.